Alright, so yesterday was uh, probably the toughest day uh, physically because I just didn't stop for 10 hours and did a full 50k on trail. Today we're doing another 50k. I am wet and freezing. Side of the Strava. And that's it. Ciao. Okay, so we have Mount Olympus to one side and the Aegean Sea on the other. We're going all the way down there to the end of the uh, mountain range of Mount Olympus over today and tomorrow to the access point into the Valley of Thessaly or whatever it's called. So basically that city, that town that goes through that access way is called Tempe. And of course there's a big story there which we'll get to when we get to it. But today we're in the shadow of Mount Olympus and the Olympian gods. I'm reading this book by Ross Edgley, a guy who swam around all of uh, the island of Great Britain, the main island. Um, so a savage, ultra savage. Uh, and he talks about the body having this adaptive ability to yeah, adapt to whatever circumstances you put it through after a few days, a week or two. And I think I'm seeing that right now. We are, this is day 13. And yesterday I did the fastest 50K I've ever done. All of my blisters have dried out and solidified and calloused my skin. As David Goggins would say, calloused my mind. Even more, I didn't, I didn't stop longer than five minutes at a time yesterday, so it was quite a quick day, even though I walked all day. And even now, my ankles, my feet, my knees, my hips, the pain is there. There's pain there, but it's not critical pain. My body's adapting. And uh, I'm actually doing more kilometers each day now than I did before and handling it better. These are long, hard days of being from 7 a.m. to about 7 p.m. fully alone. Where there's just a highway and the bush. Weirdly, to be honest, I don't find very difficult. Because I think I've actually been quite well prepared through my last 10 years, last 15 years of life for long, hard work and lonely days. I had a problem with the first kilometer. I said he was doing like 50 kilometers or something. So I started again by the Strava track. It's a Strava, the Strava right now. Hello. Yes, Philip. 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 And. It's actually possible. It's hard, but it's possible. Possible? Huh? <laughs> I, I hope it's possible. Πριν κάνα μήνα ήταν ακόμα ένα YouTuber από εδώ και πήγε Κατερίνη Θεσσαλονίκη με τα πόδια. Mm. Και το σταματήσανε ξανά μπάτσε στη γέφυρα που λε στο Αιγίνιο. Οπότε οι μπάτσε είναι γνώριμοι πλέον. Ξέρουν, δηλαδή λέει another one, just, just go. <laughs> you want just to walk across. Ναι, κοίτα, γιατί δεν έχουν γέφυρα για. Ποιο. No, no, no one wants to go <laughs> walking <laughs> to. <laughs> Αγρότε έχουν το αγροτικό. Yeah. They have the van. That's it, but it's a bit silly to not have anything. Katerini is a small city. Uh, it's a summer city because uh, the economy actually works when uh, the tourists arrive. Uh, I work as a lifeguard in the summer and in the winter 
uh, we have family restaurant in the ski center in Ελατοχώρη. Το ξέρει, Ελατοχώρη ski center, πού να ξέρει. Έχουμε πάνω. Οπότε είμαι χειμώνα, winter is uh, I'm in Ελατοχώρη and in the summer I'm here. I rent a house here. And also I, have, I go to Thessaloniki University for a master. And I do the triangle. Master in uh, Aristotle. Uh, in uh, theology, uh, geopolitics and uh, security. It's a triangle. This is, I also am in keen on history. This is why I follow you. A friend of mine sent me a reel of your emperors, <laughs> Roman emperors. And I said, I το είδα την πρώτη φορά, βλέπω κάτι γόμενε, κάτι κορίτσια. Λέω τι μέσα λέω μαλάξ. Anyway, we, today we talk about this ever. <laughs> And you see me like such a, a funny guy, I, I also follow it because the history. And then I saw your attempt, your challenge to Ormeno. I saw it when you were in this bridge in Aegino, in the on the Delta. I, I saw you from Ormenio. From where you start, yeah. I followed you before you attempt this, yeah. and uh, I just I wondered I will text him if you want any help. That's all, my, my friend. Ah, it's good, bro. It's um, uh, it feels very good to uh, walk around Greece and to meet him. And uh, I am um, lucky because my father has already made a business. So, Are you take it over? yes, might uh, I might take it over? Uh, I'm lucky because I don't have to go to. The... So watch the start of the Strava still going, and we're gonna go down to the beach. Uh, let's get some resupplies from the uh, van, and that's it. Very cool to meet up with someone who literally found me my stupid little history videos um brother gave me a bunch of gifts and supplies and stuff so very very kind talked a bit about history got that any very cool guy very very thankful it's great to come into a city i've never been before and uh no at least one person very very cool dog Okay, so I'm at the beach. Uh, this is the watch. I'm gonna wrap that up. And uh, of course my Strava's on my phone. I'm gonna wrap that up now. And uh, yeah, so big day today. Girl's not here. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap it up on my own. All right, so we wrapped it up. And there's the beach, and there's a cat. <laughs>